Oh God, you know when I started this career, don't let it end based on the rubbish I want to see. Let your mercy cover me. Hello guys, my name is Mr. Ayanana and I'm MC, comedian. Some people call me prankster. And today I want to rant. I just want to say my mind. You, you can't kill me. The bit is when you even want to know where I said that you kill me. I say Naja, before you come, try to kill you. You understand? And now I want to talk about this brother and sister of mine. Uh, it goes by the name Bob Brisky. Bob Brisky, you notice that ever since you started the rubbish of transgenderism, it has affected our youth. You understand? Now you have become a role model, a local government chairman in the area of transgender and gayship. But basically, I think you have caused more havoc than good. And this thing, eh, I don't see so many pastors don't preach to you, you know, agree. And the say one pastor even go to your house, preach to you, but basically, receive Jesus. He lo- you know, agree. Before you say, if you, if you see Bobby you slap on a lie. If you see an ego, even they snap him. We're accepting rubbish in this country. So, Babiski, change your ways. In fact, that guy is so likes to understand that the guy used Dudu Osun. And Dudu Osun changed color to white. You don't do that. Let's, let me tell you something cool about this entertainment industry. Man, when we talk about cool, we talk about Daddy Freeze. You guys think it's cool, right? This guy used to be the rave of the moment. Daddy Freeze. A cool hotel event. MC, Daddy Freeze. It was, it was, a, it was a media personality, yeah? But at some point in his career, this guy, career, died. So he felt, what can I do to get this cheap popularity back? Let me fight Jesus. Let me fight God. How can you tell people that tithes have worked for them? How can you tell them not to pay tithes? You understand? Now people don't follow your ways. You call them free the ship. Free the ship. You are freeing them into hell. Yeah? Now they follow your way. Now they let the pay tithes. And things are not going proper for them. So that it frees. All the sheep of light is where they get by speaking against God, speaking against the pastor. Remember Elijah, person who speak against Elijah. It was beer that ate him, that it. But we know we don't have beer in Nigeria. You know what it will drop you? Mosquito kill you. Accept Jesus. You are not a Christian, no, that it You only know Bible. Yeah? Accept Jesus. Lead people where? Now, nah, maybe you don't get the frame now, nah, Abby. We had to tell people that paying tight is good, though. Tell them that pastors are not fake pastors. I've, I've been hearing people say that uh, if you. If your husband doesn't have money, then he should not allow him to marry you yet. That doesn't make sense to me. You understand? If your husband doesn't have money, uh, then don't marry him yet. Wait for him to at least have a good job. That doesn't make sense. Yeah? Oh, you guys put the, all the relationship on men. As if say, uh, we don't serve the same God. If the marriage works, it works for both of you. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work for both of you. Even Bible, I'm a Christian. So you look at it from a scripture angle. He said, he that findeth a wife, find their good thing and obtain a favor from God. That means say, if I marry, it's your job as a wife to bring favor. Because God does say, I will obtain favor from him. So who is the carrier of the favor? You. So if I marry you and I'm not still having money, you are the problem of the family. You can go and wash your head. If that same husband marry another woman, that one will bring him blessing. You understand? So always think, see, Didi, think from a different perspective. You understand?